I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to find out if there is a element inside of a vector. So let's get let's get started by creating a fake vector called v. I want to set that equal to a concatenation or a column of letters. So z a b b. We'll do a again just to show the repeats, and we'll do e. Okay, so we set our our vector v up, uh, command enter on that. And then, so the easiest way to check for letters, you can say something like, basically, is the letter z, and then parentheses in, parentheses, so it's asking the question, is z in the vector v, command enter. You get down here at the bottom, true, easy enough, right? Uh, let's try a different letter, let's try r in And that should be a false, and we get a false because that could be suspect. But if we did a, in v, we'll, we'll get true, but we only know there's only one in there. So let's let's try some other methods here. Let's do a any method. So we're going to do it's just called any as a function, and you just put in any a in v. Well, a comma. V. Is there any A V? So it's another way to do it. We're going to see another way of doing this. We can say any, and it's a function called any, and we say, is there any A equal to anything inside of V? And the answer is true. Any R equal to V? And the answer should be false, and it is. So it's another method. We're going to use another one called is.element. So is.element. And it's simply a comma v. So you're just going to have to know your functions and which one is going to give you the best uh, readability. It depends on what you're doing. So is.element r. Instead of using the word in, it's a comma. Instead of using the equality operator, equals equals, it's a comma. So you can see the various differences here. Now let's do a match, and a match is slightly different. A match will tell you the, the corresponding uh, position of the letter. So if we do match, and we say match A in V, you notice we'll get the, um, the number two out, so it's the second element, but it's also the fourth element. So, so be careful with match. Match will not give you all of the results. And finally, if you want all the results, we're going to use which, W-H-I-C-H. Which a comma v, and this will give you a corresponding. Oh, see, this is why it gets confusing. Which a, which a is equal to v? So two and four, which gave you the right example. If we do which and we put in uh, the letter r equals v, we will get a basically a null value, integer zero. So it's not in there. Um, so be careful on the equal equality, the n and the uh, single return versus the vector of numbers that are being returned. This could be quite confusing. Now let's take this up one little notch and we'll use the empty cars as an example. Let's do my data and set that equal to empty cars. Run that and I'll show you that my data, we're gonna just pick a random thing here. We're gonna say, uh, let's say horsepower. We know there's a 93 inside of horsepower. so. HP is a 93. So let's play with that. We're going to use um, a vector, so a column within my data. So, so let's do, um, well, we'll start with the first example. We'll say, in, I think it should work in quotes, is 93 in, and now we don't want to use my data by itself. Excuse my. Tick mark there. 93 in, we're not going to say empty cars because we want to match to a column. So we'll do empty cars, dollar sign, and I said that was horsepower, so comma enter. The answer is true, it is in there. If I did it without that, you're going to get a false every time because empty cars is not in itself, It's it, the in function doesn't work on the entire uh, data frame, just on vectors within the data frame. So in horsepower. So you get the answer true. And the same thing would happen if I did. Um, 
other things like if I did which, let's do which, and we'll say 93. And again, now the, the which uses the equality operator. So which 93 is equal to empty cars, and you can get a slash HP. You get a vector back, which turns out to be the third position, so only one. Um, I think there was a number in there that was multiple, so my data. Uh, let's do 110 because there's multiple returns on that. So let's just do 110 and we should get 1, 2, and 4. Now what we could do is we can subset. So this is just examples of what you can do. You can use match, you can use which. So now that we know it's 1, 2, one, two and 4, we could just say, hey, return me. And, um, excuse me that I'm using empty cars and not my data, but you know, there's, there's the same thing. I'm not making changes to empty cars, so it's not a big deal right now. But anyway, so we can do my data and we can subset literally just those um, we want just those rows, so we can say within the frame, or in, within the data frame, we want to do a which statement, and we'll say 110 equals empty cars. We're going to compare it against the horsepower. So I want all the rows with a horsepower is equal to 110, and comma, I want all the columns, so I'm going to leave the column section blank. I'm going to hit the command enter button, and you'll see that it returned just those three rows that the horsepower is equal to 110. You see how that works within the data frame? So I just concatenated basically this which statement. Say, hey, which one of these empty cars horsepower are equal to 110? Return me a vector. And if the vector only has those positions, if I type in those positions, basically, the return, if I replace this entire piece right here with those positions, it's asking, give me those rows with all the columns. So it's pretty simple. Now let's do one more example, just to give you a little bit more. So let's go back to my data, and we'll say, okay, 275.8 uh, is displacement. So 275.8 displacement. We can also check the class of displacement. So we can, we can check the type, basically. Class, um, my data, displacement, and we can hit enter, it's a numeric. So since it's a numeric, we don't have to put the quotes there, okay? And that's just a little, a little more less. So my data, and we want to subset the ones that are equal to that. So which, and I said it was 110. I forget the numbers already. My data, 1, 275.8, 275.8. .8. So which, 275.8 is equal to the empty cars. And that was the displace, displacement, right? Comma, I want all the columns, command enter. And again, it gives me just three results, but you see all three results has a 275.8 displacement. Um, now, if I didn't want all the columns, I could, I could subset those with numerics as well. So maybe I want only columns uh, one through five, comma, and there you have it. Simple as that. So learn the in, the which, the match, and how to use it within an actual data frame. So you say, hey, of this data frame, check that particular column and make it happen. If you find this helpful, go ahead and uh, subscribe and stay tuned for the next one.